everyone, my name is Brennan. I'm the educator and rep for AOMED. Today we're going to be going over the features of the Otoderm Oxygen Machine. So first off, I'm going to run through some things that you get with your purchase. You get the dome, of course. You get the machine, which is also a generator. You get the cart, which is super easy to put together, by the way. And you get the air gun. You get two oxygen hoses, and you're only going to be using one at a time. One end is going to go on the little tip here on the front of the machine. The other one is going to have that a metal part that attaches from the back of the dome or when you're using the air gun, it's going to attach to the bottom of the air gun. So this, you pull down on, you attach here, and then you release. There is no screwing at all involved with that. I know it looks like that would be, but it's not. Okay, so a couple things I'm going to show you also is, it obviously comes with the pole to hang your dome on the back. It comes with several of the filters. The filters are used to pull the air from your room through the filter to the machine, and inside the machine, the gases are separated and it's converted to ionized oxygen, which is ultra, ultra pure. So you don't have to have any oxygen tanks or anything like that because it's converting it to a super pure oxygen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the back of the dome for right now. I'm gonna flip the switch in the back. When you flip the switch in the back, you're gonna see a green light on the panel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that button. Then the panel lights up. It's gonna automatically default to the one liter and 90%. We have a video where we actually tested the saturation levels of someone under the dome and it has the highest saturation level of any oxygen machine that I've seen out there on the market today. So don't get caught up on the percentage here, but it's all about the saturation level, okay? The other thing is it has a timing shutdown button over here. That's a great feature that I rely on a lot because if I have some under the dome and I want to make sure that I want to keep them under there, say, for 15 minutes, if I'm doing, like, for inflammation or something like that after treatment, then I can hit that button three times, and you're going to see here on the panel where it says 15 minutes. So that means the machine's going to automatically shut off, and I don't have to keep track of the time because the machine does that for me. Another feature on here is the Anion. So in addition to the ultra pure oxygen and the saturation level, another feature that sets this machine apart is the anion. That is the three billion um, anion particles that this machine puts out. The big deal about that is it's all about inflammation, vitamin from the air, it helps your immune system, it helps blood circulation, it kills um, bacteria on the face, balances the pH, and makes all the products that you receive with your purchase more, um, more effective, okay? So there are some studies out, um, they're coming out of Australia actually, where it talks about the benefits of Anion. Now, the benefits of the Anion when they're under the dome, it, it, you're breathing in the anion, and again, that is the negative ion. So everything that we encounter throughout the day is causing so much inflammation in our body, whether it be computers, TVs, cell phone, environmental, um, certain foods that we eat. We're constantly in the treatment room trying to combat inflammation because we know when we are able to combat that inflammation, our clients are gonna see better results and they're gonna heal faster, which is why after every treatment, um, I recommend my accounts put them under the dome because they're going to be out the door just with a better immune system, less inflammation in their body. This is a great treatment to do, just the dome portion, after microneedling, after acne, um, things like that where you've kind of created a little bit of a wound or maybe extractions or something like that. It's, it's amazing. And again, it's combating um, pH and disinfecting the face and, and all of those wonderful things. But the studies uh, of Australia is saying that when you are breathing in anion, that your body has the ability to, to take in up to 20% more oxygen into the lungs. Now, 
that is one study, but I like telling people about that because we know how people have had been wearing the mask and how we're worried about building our immune system. And that's one primary reason why when Korea went through, went through their COVID crisis, people were going in droves to have this treatment done because they know the benefits of having the, the Otoderm treatment, especially with the Antium. So when you're going from the different liters or the different airflows of the machine, again, it starts with one, you're gonna hit the plus minus to take it to two. When you have your client under the dome, you're gonna have them on liter one or two. Typically, if I have products on their face, whether it be the whipping mask or the revitalizing ampule or the energizing cream, I'm gonna have them on liter one. What I typically will do if I am, if they're bare faced and I've done maybe a microneedling or I've done acne extractions and I'm wanting to control that inflammation and kind of balance the pH and kill the bacteria, then I tend to lean more towards leader two. Honestly, you're not going to go wrong with leader one or leader two when they're under the dome. But some things that you do want to pay attention to is when you are using the air gun, and I'm going to show you that going to take it from the dome to the air machine. You can feel a little bit of air coming out of here just on later two. But in order to get the ampule to go through the air gun, you're going to need it on liter three, four, or five. Five is your highest liter, which is also going to be the highest airflow. So I'm going to kind of do some things here I'm going to show you. So if I'm working on a bigger area, say the neck or the decollete, I'm going to do it on liter five because that again is going to be the highest airflow and pushing that ampule out. And you can probably hear that on the camera, the velocity. Now, if I'm doing, and I'm going to cycle this back through, if I'm doing around the mouth area, or around the eye area. I, of course, I'm watching my angle of how I have this. You never want to have it up and down like this because you're going to be having your ampule leak. But you kind of want to have it more at a 45 degree angle and then just move your client's face. But when you have it on three and you're working around the eye area, that is not too intrusive. So I totally recommend three around those eye areas. You do not need to be touching the skin with the air gun because of the velocity and the airflow that's pushing the ampule through there. When you're doing it on four, that is typically where I'm gonna be doing maybe the side of the face and on the forehead. And again, I already mentioned five. And to take it to the next liter, you're just gonna cycle it back through. Now I'm gonna run through some of the products that you do get with your treatment. But before I do that, I'm going to let you know that it's really, really, really important to make sure that you keep your air gun cleaned out sufficiently. I use my machine several, several times a week and using the ampule. So I typically will wait until I finish the complete ampule. Then I will use an ampule that I've already used. So I use this empty vial. I'll put really hot water in it and then I will run the water through the air gun to keep it cleaned out. While you're um, waiting for that to be emptied, one of those to be emptied, you can totally remove this and you can take it to the sink and run really hot water through it. When you're loading the ampule, do the cup upside down so you're not trying to dump it in there. And it already comes pre-set for the airflow. However, if you do have any issues and you feel like that it's not blowing strong enough, you're gonna leave this front part alone and you're not gonna unattach it, but this little knob on the very back is a teeny tiny, you're just gonna ever so slightly adjust that and that will recalibrate the gun for you. Okay, so again, you're getting the two milliliter whipping mask in part two of the video where I'm doing the treatment, I explain what this is for, but I'll just briefly go over it real quick. This is a whipping mask. I show you how to make it in part two of the video, but this is a gentle exfoliator. It gets oxygen inside the pores. It hydrates the skin and it also gets debris out. So this is a great 
um, pre-extraction treatment. It's a great um, whipping mask to do after derma planing or any other kind of exfoliation. It's wonderful. And then you get 10 of the 10 milliliter ampules. You're probably going to be getting, I would say between five to seven treatments out of each 10 milliliter. Again, that's gonna vary depending on your client. And you're also going to be getting 150 ml of the oxygen cream, okay? This is amazing treatment, especially in the winter months, whenever it's dry. That is a wonderful, wonderful energizing cream. The whipping mask you remove, the revitalizing ampule and the energizing cream are leave-on products. After you do the treatment and they've been under the dome, say for 15 to 20 minutes with the revitalizing ampule or the cream, you're gonna make sure that you remove the dome and you're gonna massage that in really, really well. And that's where you're gonna be getting the glass-like facial. Um, more times than not, our, our clients, those of us that have this machine, we get a lot of amazing feedback from our clients. So it's not just a foo-foo facial like one would think, but it is really going in and helping calbacteria, balancing the pH. Those products that we've infused onto their skin continues to work several days after that. So it's super hydrating. It goes in and helps heal the skin. Of course, we're revitalizing the skin with the ampule. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that you go back and look at part two, which is the treatment, and reach out to me if you have any questions or if you're interested in a treatment coming to the training center here in Colorado. We would love to show you the machine and how you can implement it in your treatment room. Have a great day. Thanks so much.